Hey guys, it's Parker here with a playthrough of Pyre. So, let's just go. I became a fan of Super Giant Games after playing Transistor, so I wanted to try their other games. So, I decided to go with, um, Pyre. Um, yeah, let's go. New campaign. Let's just go with Saturn. <laughs> Your days in the downside brought slow, lonesome agony. Now, as you lie yielding to the elements, something rumbles into view. Three shapes emerge, each clad in strange attire. Uh, the downside? A vast purgatory into which the commonwealth casts its convicts and its enemies. I see. Hmm, another piece of filth expelled from the commonwealth. See, right on schedule, what I tell you? You told us you'll find someone alive. But someday, then we find someone alive someday. Just not today, I guess. But don't be gone. You see, I, you know, I see you frowning underneath that mask. Looks like he's breathing. It seems he still is. The sound aside, I should send him to a better place. You said he? Can you people just tell? Hang on, the marking, the markings on his rags. I think he's one of them. But look at him, he is beyond our help, and we are beyond his. Broken, shaking, starving, probably diseased. Yeah, good luck with that there, chum. See you back at the wagon. Indeed, this Garrett today grows dim. You have at best an hour. Understood, I won't be long. After the others leave, the man turns towards you and begins unfastening his mask. Hello, my friend. Don't care who you are or what you did, none of that matters anymore. All of us, we're equal nothings here. You are parched and he gives you drink. You ache and he binds your wounds. You hunger and he gives you food. Little by little, it helps. There, turns out you're tougher than your legs. Name's Hedwin. <laughs> Hedwin. Now come on. I probably mispronounced it. Hedwin, he is one of the three mass wonders who found you clinging to life in the downside. You sense no ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to an old battle black wagon. Nothing like the stately vessels that paraded Commonwealth criminals through Alabaster Street. Alright, step aside. The weather beaten wagon is as much a mess inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature taking stock of ancient looking books. I'm back. And with a guest. She loosens the cough on her wrap. You may call me Jodario. <laughs> Jodario. She is one of the most She's the most imposing of the three masked wonders found you've cleaned to life. And as for myself, small and stuck with his mask. Jodario soon assists him. Ow! That's to say me. You may regard me by the name of Rookie Greentail. Such pleasantries out of the way, the horn woman then motions to the others. She glances at you sidelong as she speaks. Can he do it? Hope so. Haven't asked him yet. What? Then what are you waiting for? Hey, chum. Nice meeting you and all, but tell me something. You know how to read or what? Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm reading right now. He's asking if you're a reader. Huh. Yeah, just admit it. You confirmed their suspicions. There's no use trying to hide it now. I mean, they already... I'm, I have a feeling they already knew. 
well then, glory days, because it just so happens my associates and I, we got ourselves some nice material here for someone just like you. Reader, he still live thanks to us. We offer something modest in exchange. Open one of those books back there. Tell us what it says. Okay, ten to... Sorry to put you on the spot like this, my friend. Alright, let's have a look. You pick up one of the old and heavy volumes, bound in materials you do not recognize. Hmm. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside, such as we, the A who wrote this book, are right. That you possess it and have capacity to glean its words is testament enough to your potential. Thus, to reveal a path from this forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming of glory. The stars themselves The stars themselves shall be your guide. Ere the turning of the ears for solstice speak. The nearest longitude between longitude beneath the brightest of eight as they align as shown. Arrive as a triumvirate, clad in the raiments of the rites bearing this book, obliged to voice that tells you more. Okay, <laughs> I have no idea what it means. The book describes a complicated method, though, which exiles can return to the commonwealth. A proud country rising for the ashes of a fallen empire, home to a multitude of ethnic groups. The word slim to your mind as headwind gets your attention. Well, friend, what does it say? But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You see your body weaken. Get out. Okay, I didn't think, um... It will be this dialogue heavy. Reader! Dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? So soon after your sentence into exile, Tis true what the book says. You can be free again. Perhaps not you yourself, but someone worthy of the privilege. You witness now the path toward salvation. You witness the rights. The one way to return to glory. Though in your case, I hardly think it possible. Yet, by the grace of the scribes, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. Hello, Shay. It worked. Oh, so it is true. Oh, man. Yeah, but what now? Where did Reader go? He should be out there still. For now, we have to put our faith in him. He could abandon us. He won't. You look upon the three of them from beyond his headland and calls out to you. Reader, we aim to free ourselves. We will not grow old and die in the downside. And now, I swear to you, when we get out of here, you're going to come with us. But first, we need your help. Show us the way. Freedom, you focus all your mental facilities to do as headland asks. Um... I guess they're fighting. A celestial orb falls oh, from the heavens when the time is now. Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate, for they must prove their trust in one another, not just in yeah. themselves. The three must act as only one. one exile can move at a time. Okay. Press R to spread. Okay. Press until summon a depleter. Okay. Now Tutorial. Push into the posing. Oh, okay. Okay, so he can only jump. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just supposed to go there. Whoever steps into the okay. For a time. Repeat Spanish for now. Okay. Must make do on their own. Oh, but it is not so simple. In the rights you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Beware the aura that surrounds them. 
as they shall beware yours. <laughs> the aura is and your throne doing. Vanishes and Accept it as a part of you. Cast your aura like a stone. Correctly done. Again. So, a glorious performance, I admit. More than I expected from the likes of you. Grasp the orb once more. The orb absorbs the aura, then the orb quenches the flame. Now I say jump. <laughs> Leap with the head. Okay, we're gonna return. Huh, I see. The adversary's pyre whilst yours. Oh boy. Um Goodbye, Joe Dariel. Their pyre weakens. With grace. As per the sacred law. Opportunity. One triumvirate stands unopposed. The right is complete. There, dear reader. Now you understand. Or do you? I I this think I got the hang of it a little. Which lies ahead. I would tell you to turn back. Cast down your hope. But all those such as you, you never listen. Okay, the three must act, act as one, so I need to try, like, passing the orb to everyone as they move. But, like, I'm not really sure how to do that. I wish I could practice that. Dutter is still picking themselves up as you awaken. <laughs> oh, that was something. That was our way out. So now, we just follow the stars or what? Supposedly. Raider, come, let us regard tonight. Jodario, leave you outside where a clear night sky awaits. Now, show us, before the howlers catch your scent, where shall the rites commence? An ancient ritual competition to which the warriors exiles to gain their freedom. You gaze at the stars. Seek out your destination. Um. Well, I only see that one. <laughs> Let's go here. Oh. Hmm, two hundred leagues to east, the ridge of gold. Concilia. Great, and we're supposed to be there when exactly? Very soon, according to the stars. You should be able to arrive in time if you make haste. Don't we have best get started? <laughs> well, this ought to be good for a few last at least. What do you say, Jody? Jodario turns to you, studying you. Reader, do not deceive us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. <laughs> what she means is got to have your board, chum. 
We're counting on you, my friend. See you, see you inside. Freedom. The right side of the key. It is a lot to take in. Join them. Um, I really like the storytelling on Miss Spirits game. And of course the art is beautiful, of course. Downside Prairie. I just really need to work on my teamwork. You arrive in Downside Prairie. Where the road ahead is forked. There's a lack of consensus about which way to proceed. I'm telling you, we have to take the northern path. Got an associate hold up in hollow root. I got to pay a visit to besides. Toss it. Fine, your house associate. Best we head to blowing pool and avoid attention. Hmm. Ooh, hot springs. Um. Oh, means no baiting in the springs. So they're just there to mock you. No, we can't even visit the hot springs, okay, Sam. I got stuck in a bog while we're at it. The dispute continues as, he as Hedwin listens for a while. What if the reader settled this? He marks the way. We get us there. If these rites are meant to test our faith, then we best learn to trust the reader's instincts on our path. No second guessing him along the way. Can we all live with that for now? Yeah, sure. If necessary. Then it's settled. Just point the way, my friend. The stars guide us through you. Oh boy, way to options. Ricky knows someone here who owns him. Blooming pool. Jodario thinks she can find rare flora here. Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing our options. Options have consequences. In this game. Okay, so we either get rare flora, rare flowers, or we just meet someone. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Rookie here. you pass through the squall little area, you hear boisterous voices coming from what looks to be a public house. Rookie stumbles forth from it, holding something in his paws. <laughs> oh, uh, hey chum, just wrapping up a real important exchange back there. Hang on to this for me, will you? I have to drop it off if we head further north. Do we see the plane parcel? Cannot tell what is inside. The black wagon grinds to a stop at the base of the ridge of gold. The others ask you to assist with making preparations for nightfall and the commencement of the rite. Commence the rite. You know, perhaps, the thrice cursed name of Solia Moore, the Emperor of Sar, the first exile, and my liege. Oh, in the words of Gol Golatanian, the Master General, this chapter concerns him and those who found him in the outside. Each of us was sent to take his life, such was the hatred for him and around his country. Yes, we found in Solia Moore a man transformed in body, mind, and spirit. A man deserving of such more than mercy. In time, he named us all his scribes, and he became the ace. It's my greatest honor now to share with you these to know his story. It's to know the rights. Okay. He seems to have something on his mind. Hey, chum. Appreciate you taking us up through Hollerou back there. How about that? Are you certain that parcel will purchase an adequate price at the slug market? Crew trading post found in the downside. Surely we could have procured some sort of rare fungus had we gone the other way. Uh, much as I love the idea of procuring rare fungus there, Jody. 
Uh, she is the grim, long time resident of the Renal side, growing accustomed to surviving here. We said we couldn't go around second guessing our good chance decisions, right? <laughs> Chodario says nothing in response, but soon changes the subject. <laughs> Night falls soon. Come along, Greentail. We have much left to prepare. He is an opportunistic and well connected curse so clinging to this one's comfortable lifestyle. The two of them soon go about rummaging through the raiments and the books strewn about the wagon, leaving you to your own devices. What is that an imp? Oh. <laughs> That's something. You have stirred the mass and rose whose old engravings and embroidery such as the form of purpose. Some of the garments are massive, while others are so small they might fit a child. Okay, um let's commence the right. Probably gonna fail, but <laughs> As darkness falls, your fellow exiles stand together, clad in the raiments of the rites. The pictures are set. However, everything is still and calm. Soon, they grow restless. <laughs> Keep telling you, there's nothing. What a bunch of idiots you are. <laughs> we traveled all this way for nothing. <laughs> I don't think we did. Look up. The stars align at last. You reach the ridge of Gaul at the appointed time, and your triumvirate is me. Your adversaries in the rites this eve shall be the accusers. Whosever pyre yet burns once the other is extinguished shall step closer to freedom. Now let the rites Commence! Okay, I just gotta try passing it to the three of them. The stars are aligned and your fire burns bright. Across from our companions appear several others also clad in Rhymus. Your adversaries in the right. Everyone ready. Let's hope so. Be still, we have a visitor. The one whom she refers to sets forth. At last, the night wings grace us with their presence. The name of a triumphant in blue. It seems their fellow exiles have assumed their identity. I see that the reports of the demise have been exaggerated after all. Even I was beginning to think we were gone for good. Nobody moves, save for the man robed in gold who unfastens his mask. Surprised to see old Lendl again. He is the apparent leader of the Gazelle Triumph who encountered at the Ridge of Gold. I trust you remember my face, though he must have assumed never to see it again after last time. Never had I come so close to freedom, only for you to dash my hope. Now I, and the accuser, shall repay that aff affront. An exile charm, but kind of gold. Their leader harbors ill will for something he thinks he did. I, I, I don't know what we did, but all right. He shoves his mask back on and takes position with his comrade. It is time. From the shadows, you clutch the book of rights and focus on the task at hand. Oh boy, here we go. Begin. No. Quite an exchange. The accusers underestimated you. Mm -hmm. 
Lendl banished. It was a crushing blow against their fire. No, I shall not accept defeat from you again. Hear me, accusers. Stand your ground. Let your auras boil in rage. It seems that you have flustered the accusers. We're getting there, but they've hungered down. Then we just have to run more circles around them. Hmm. Holy... Oh, to fling the orb into the tire. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm, all right, fling it. Oh, a daring display. Flinging the orb into the flames like that. You elude banishment using such tricks. Ta-ta, Lendo. All right, pass. Deliverance! Now, end the ceremony! Banished! And it is done! You have... Prevailed. Rejoice then in your single fleeting victory. Damn, yeah, this guy is just announcing so sassy. Your deceit may have earned you a hollow victory, but notice. The accusers will not forget your wickedness, and when next we meet, you will rue the day. Bask now in the All right, we did it. <laughs> The exile Jodariel has gained enlightenment. Only the hmm. enlightenment. We always did worse nice than freedom. this, though he was strange. Choose a master for Jodariel. Oh, they're using a Russian launch forward, Jodariel can rush again right away. You know, I should I just forgot to sprint in this game. I should really sprint. The demon scribe bestows his favor. Okay, don't forget the R2 button that's sprint one. Harder. <laughs> After the rites, the accusers disappear into the darkness. As you return to the wagon, in the still night sky, you see a single star burns brighter than the rest, beckoning you onward. Okay, so I should try to sprint. And I should try using playing the orb into my strategy. Well, my friends, what can I say? The rights are real, and we're in. The Getting Out of Here Club! Next up on the agenda, keep chasing stars until we're free! Oh gosh, I just changed the voices! Until we are free. Until we are free. Here, here. Sounds fine. Might as well be us instead of Lendl back there. Anyway, guess we better start packing. As the others go about their business, Hedwin turns to you. Reader, come with, come walk with me while the stars are still out. You and Hedwin walk in silence for a time before he speaks up. You have questions. Come, ask away. We need you on just for the long haul. Um... Ask why you cannot conduct the rites yourself. You asked Hedon why he and his, and his companions did not invite you to participate in the rites firsthand and relied on your guidance. He maintains eye contact and smiles. Good question, my friend. We're going to have a lot of time to discuss that, and many other things. 
Make you a deal. Read the stars for us again, and I'll tell you all about it on the way. You sense he speaks truly as it beckons towards the fading dark above. Um, Jomir? Jomur? <laughs> Jomur, the Dust Star. The Dust Star burns bright over an ancient spring in Jomur, Jomur Valley. How about that one? That's a long way north and west. You'll see if this old wagon's fit for it. Then he turns to the others. How's it going, rookie? And sped wheels clean. Status, Doty. No sign of howlers. Everything is secure. Good. Then get some rest. We're heading to the spring of Jomir. At dawn, we're off. Continue your journey. Actually, let's check out the wagon. You find Rookie managing, rummaging in the corner of the black wagon. Hey chum, know what? It's good having somebody else around besides those two. So, come to think of it, there's something I wanted to take your, get your take on, and you have to promise to tell me honestly. Uh, Would you say... Uh, what I mean is, uh... Um, his taste. Trying to find the words. Okay, motorcycle. Just pass on by while talking. Arg! Look, what I'm trying to say is, um, he sense something serious is troubling him. He moves in very close, making sure no one else is in earshot. It's about my mustache. I've been, I've been getting some conflicting reports about it. Would you say my mustache that makes me look a bit, you know, unscrupulous? His <laughs> mustache. He's concerned about it. Um, you know, it kind of suits you, so say it looks perfectly fine. You suggest that rookie's mustache looks perfectly fine. He grins out at you. Yeah, it suits you. Couldn't agree more, chum. I knew straight away that a real judge of character. Anyway, gotta check the wheels again for mice. See you around. He bounced off out of the wagon. Rookie gains plus one hope for the next ride. Hell yeah. I hope the game auto saves for you. Okay, Jomir Valley. The climate here in Jomir Valley is hot and uncomfortable, on top of that. We have a stowaway. Home? We could go home? She must have latched into the undercarriage as she crossed the ridge. Her manner is odd, though you sense she means no harm. She must have overheard some of her fellow exiles' conversations. You need but say the word, Hedlin. Oh, come on, you can't be serious, Jody. She's just some kid who managed to climb aboard our wagon undetected, but still. Do it, Jody. Jodario approaches the girl and looms over her. Listen to me, girl. We cannot guarantee that we shall get you home, or any one of us. But, at present, we have room for you, and adequate provisions. You may accompany us for the time. <laughs> Jodaro leaves without awaiting a response, presumably to make room in the wagon for your new guest. The stowaway is overjoyed at this. Really? You're so kind! You're as kind to someone you've met, like me! May the eight scribes smile upon you all! Some refer to them as gods, believing they bowed their souls to exile so that others could live free. Hmm. <laughs> she claps her hands, bursts into laughter, and performs some kind of some sort of dance. Rookie says that all of this and leans in close to Hedwin. Hey, so, uh, what gives? First the reader, now we're taking her along? What, we gonna take in every mic 
Python drive and amplify now too? Easy, rookie. I think he wanted us for us to bring this one along. Who? Sano what? The apparent name of some mysterious informant headland, Chimadario and Rookie. I thought he said he asked to find someone to fit in every type of mask. Near as I could tell, yours would fit her just fine. He asked that we use our best judgment. Besides, we sent her away. She'll go telling anyone if she finds about us. We can't risk that right now. Uh, so, um, can I, I can come in? It's very hot and I'm a little thirsty. I'm a little tired too. Yes, you're welcome here with us. One question though, what do we call you? Um, well, this is embarrassing I think, but I don't know for sure. It's just back home, they call me lots of names, like for the color of my hair. They made fun of you just because you got gray hair? That's it! My name, it rides with gray! My name, my name, it's, oh, it's, it's just they call me lots of names. He sensed the girl struggling to recollect a certain name she felt best suited her. Um. You think that you can help the Silway girl make peace with her name? May, K, Fay, Day, Zay, Shay, Ray. Um. I like May. It kind of suits her. You suggest that the Silway girl's name is May. Why? That's it. My name is May. My name is May. Where I am from, they call me May the Moon Touched. She is the young Bagaman girl with all manner and unshakable sense of curiosity. But I guess maybe you don't have to say that part because I don't really like it. Your fellow styles decide to bring May along for now. She almost calls her exhaustion. As you take her in and show her somewhere she can rest. May joined the group. She's tired but excited. Hell yeah. The black wagon arrives in somewhat peaceful stretch of Jomira Valley. Your companions wish to hold up here for the night to give May and all of you a little time to rest. Consider your options. Huh? May seems to be recovering well since you found her. She seems fascinated by everything and everyone in the wagon. Oh, hi, Mister. You're the one who knew my name. You guessed it right. You did. Thank you for your hospitality. I've just been eating with the imps and talking to the wagon. This wagon. He and I are the same age, almost to the very day. But I'm older by three weeks, so I'm giving him a hard time. Little brother, I call him. He is a good wagon, isn't he? He will take us very, very far. My little brother, sure, he pulls up my hair at times and I don't like it very much, but he has family, and I'm happy to be here with my family. I thought that I had lost them all again. I thought that I had lost them all. Oh, but we are stopped now, have we? Then I should go outside to dance in case the scars are watching. Bye, mister! Flying back at you, she prances out the door. Well, well, um, I guess she's kind of eccentric, but... Your fellow styles take a moment to unwind. Jodaro motions for you to join them. Best get used to your new life here, reader. We still don't get such moments of reprise. Perhaps some further study of that book shall pass time. You can join me for a little stroll for failing up to it. Always oh, study forest around here. Or you could teach us more of what you know. Prepare us for the next rite. In any case, we do what we can to stay busy. Keep the circulation well at bay. Um, okay, you could choose from several vocations. Ways in which you can make yourself useful during occasional moments of free time. Use what time you have. Um... Um, why don't we mentor our companion? <laughs> Having gleaned knowledge from the Book of Rites, you can impart some of his teachings. As each exile's path toward enlightenment is personal, you ought to mentor them one at a time. 
Um, let's see. She already has skills, so I won't mentor her. Um, yeah, I think I'll mentor Hedwin. Mentor. Sure thing, friend. I appreciate the offer. Where to begin? You go straight to Hedwin, so the intricacies of the rights, focusing on how all three, how all three in a triumvirate can move and act as of one mind. You simply grasp some of the concepts. Yay! I think I'm beginning to understand something of all of this, my friend. All right, let's pick something for him. I like this one. Thank you for the lesson, my friend. It's giving me a lot to think about. Let us continue. The path leading further west splits off, and once again, your fellow exiles turn their choice over to go over to you. May seems enthusiastic for whichever route you choose. Let's see. May just agrees with everything. <laughs> the north route across the Chilmere Valley passes through the remains of the Hive Titan. Hmm. Let's go to Blue Hive. May is behaving stranger than usual as she passed through the stark balance of Glue Hive. The scribes! I think they're here! I think they they were here! Can you not feel their presence in the sand and in the air and all bows? At first you pay a little heed, though Lady Azura of your fellow exiles seem to be in a better spirit than before. Perhaps it was the previous day's rest that they are brown goods. Yay! Route to Spring of Jomir, you hear all the roving slug market, which appears to be nearby. Rookie insists you take a look after you settle in. I mean, sure. Hmm. Hedwin motions for you to join him. His easygoing smile soon fades. You asked before how come you can't conduct the rites yourself. It's a fair question, and I wanted to respond. It's not that we don't think you could do it. I told you when we met, you're tougher than you look. It's just... Your connection to those books. To us. We need your guidance out there in the field. We can't do this ourselves. I made that clear. You made that clear. You're our reader. Out of all of us, you have the most important job. Nor do we have a substitute if you decide that job is not for you. He paused for a moment. An expression softens. Look, we'll help each other to get out of here. And as for the rights, we don't want you to feel left out. Every time we go out there, you're right there with us, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Thanks for hearing me out. He nods to you in a reassuring way as he departs, leaving you to consider what he says. How many nations did I scour in the name of Snolia Murr? How many countries saw before our spears and blades? Such questions matter less to me with every passing victory. Our allegiance swallowed across the land, and our dominion grew. The Emperor Snolia Murr paid all this little heed. He only tended to his personal affairs. Our allegiance relished the autonomy. We did not know that the Emperor cared nothing for his allegiance, or nor his people. He cared only for what which was before him. One day, he learned of such a thing as to befit his name, and vowed to seek it out. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going, Mr. Greentail? Been a while and all that. Hey, Ron. It's going. Say, how come you still shop all the way out here? This is a little out of the way. 
Oh, well, let's just say, you guys, you ain't my only customers. You see, Dad and I, we know this business pretty good. We've been around the block, and so... As Ron keeps flattering, Ricky signals to you in a further way. Ron, he is a traveling sales creature and appropriator of the downside slug market. Yes, I got it. Here's the deal, chum. Got an informant says just something here connected to the rights business. See if we can spot it. Should be able to pawn some of our stuff to make the trade. And don't even worry about Falcon Ron. Um, yeah. So anyways, you guys got something for me or what? The plain parcel you got there. I have to take it off your paws if you want. Um, sure. <laughs> he just laughs. He's like, <laughs> Hey, you know, I'll take it. This is a green tail, though you drop a pretty hard bargain. Now, you gonna take something off my hands here or what? Drag moon crest to your stash. Sure. That's the one kind, one of a kind thing you just got there, you know? You got yourself a real good deal for me as well. So, thanks. <laughs> Apparently, any one of us bozos, bozos can get a little edge out of that thing. During the rights, I mean, just a question of who gets to try it out. Decide who shall wield it. <laughs> uh, I think I'll put the moon crest to him. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Dad over here is fate, you know, he's been having some trouble with his feet, getting real something or other, or other from all the hoofing around, and so you see, Ruki indicates to you that now would be a good time to depart. Alright, let's go. To fly. See you, Mr. Green Chow, and your friend there too. I like him. Seems real nice, you know? Okay, um, guys, I think it would be a good time to end part one of Pyre. Thank you so much for watching. I'll continue this game. I really like the atmosphere of it. And yeah, I just want to keep on improving on the right battles. So yeah. I'll see you guys next time.